Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with this week's episode of the FNM Spotlight. This week I am going to be playing Standard. Our store is still on a Standard craze. Want to get back into Modern. Love Modern, but with the new set, all the players usually want to play the new cards. Plus, this Standard season seems to be wide open, uh, not plagued by the Siege Rhinos. So there are, we saw from the Pro Tour, just, I don't know, there's probably like 15 playable archetypes right now. Uh, Finkel UB control deck is starting to get very, very popular, and I thought I'd take a spin on it. I was talking to Morton, uh, my internet BFF from Denmark. We, we uh, brainstormed a lot of different ideas off each other and wanted to get like an Erebos' Titan deck going because it just seems so good right now in the meta game. It pretty much dodges a lot of the removal spells, still dies to Roast, but then you can get back Erebos' Titan quite easily. And with them, whenever they remove a card, what is it? So whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard, to me discard a card and return Erebos' Titan from graveyard or hand. So it's just a 5-5 five five that is 4 mana, comes out quick, and then you can like turn 5 Languish or just keep the board wiped. And it's indestructible as, as long as your opponent doesn't have a creature. So that's kind of the... I, do you know in all honesty, this probably wants to be in a Finkel-based build with the seasons past and just the what green has to offer but i thought i'd just try it a mono black i might actually play this for playing on a budget next week because it's extremely budget if you take out the kalatas trader of gets i'm not quite sh certain how well kalatas or how much we need kalatas the life life gain in this deck and the exile uh and the two two zombie tokens actually seem like they're gonna be pretty necessary for the deck i'll have to wait and see but you'll you'll notice this is a lot of the same cards that the John Finkel deck has, and but without the green, again, we might need that season's pass just to kind of, uh, f and to figure out the, or not figure out, man, I'm, I'm rambling here, or stumbling here, to kind of make it more consistent with the card draw. So right now the only card draw is read the bones. I don't have Dark Petition in this set, or the, in this either, I think Dark Petition would be pretty decent because it could actually easily get Erebus' Titan. We might have to actually put a Dark Petition in here and then we can just cut a bunch of different cards down to uh, two ofs or one ofs like the Ruinous Path or something because Dark Petition just helps out the consistency of the deck. We'll have to wait and see. So anyway, we're just going to run the a 25 land mana base, two Blighted Fens since we are just in basic swamps, and a Westvale Abbey. Just because why not so the the good news about green is it can get i think you would probably want just from green either sylvan advocate because what i like about a sylvan advocate is it dodges languish on turn six but also the season's pass is huge but the hissing quagmire i think is pretty good in this type of deck as well and the evolving wilds to kind of get delirium i was looking into some other cards that delirium might be good with Mind Rack Demon might be a card that this deck wants as, but it just puts, because it helps self mill, but I'm not quite sure that Mind Rack Demon wants to be in this deck either. It's, it'd be pretty tough. Like we're going to have an instant in sorcery, probably enchantment. I'd have to go up in more dead weights to have an enchantment in the graveyard. And yeah, possibly, possibly should put Mind Rack Demon in here. But for right now, I'm going to try this, this build out. Uh, it's it's really going to run ar around from under the floorboards. That's the the card that I'm really trying to make use of. So this is a card that I've been obsessed with lately. It just seems too good. Madness, of course, is one of my favorite cards ever printed. But this card, or mechanics ever printed, but this card just seems to do it all. It puts zombie tokens, so it, it stabilizes you. They do come into play tap, but if you can get that off instant speed, which there's a number of ways to do so in this deck, then... You can get a ton of zombies. You can just dump a lot of mana into putting zombie tokens. You gain that much life. But if you just have to hard cast it for 5 mana, so the turn after a languish, this puts in 3 2-2 two -two black zombie creature tokens, and you gain 3 life. So it seems to be the perfect stabilization card. I mean, that is basically a Siege Rhino. I, that is a 4-5 body, I understand that, with Trample. So it's a little bit harder to take care of. But in this case, there's 3 different targets so in, in certain situations that's better than than siege rhino it's one more mana of course but three life you don't do the three damage but it's very very similar in that aspect is what i'm trying to say very similar to i don't know i guess thractus comes back he leaves back a three three body as well so but it still seems like on the same same level those type of cards and it can actually be an extremely 
uh, good finisher when you have a ton of mana. Say you're up to seven mana or something, and then you get five and five life, and that puts your opponent on, on quite the clock. And again, it works perfect with Erebus's Titan to be able to discard a card. Uh, sometimes, though, they'd have to exile a card. We have to figure out... I wish we had, like, a Relic of Progenitus type card or a Tormod, Tormod's Crypt. And then I think this this sort of strategy gets a lot better. One thing I'm huge... I, a big disappointment is Green doesn't have a lot of ways to actually exile Graveyard, which is, in my opinion, stupid. Because Green is the exile Graveyard car, uh, color. And... They just completely, I think they just wanted the graveyard to be a big part of the metagame. But unfortunately, with all the exile spells like Declaration of Stone and Anguish Unmaking and uh, Silk Wrap and Stasis Snare and uh, Quarantine Field, uh, Angelic Purge. What other cards am I missing the exile? There's just so many, oh, uh, Grasp of, or not Grasp of Darkness, Complete Disregard, which I probably need to put one of those in the sideboard, to be all honest with uh have a way to, to combat Hangerback Walkers. Hangerback's another card could easily go in this deck as well. I wouldn't be against Hangerback Walker. I just personally don't like Hangerback Walker with all the a aforementioned Exile cards. So anyway, let's just go down the deck list. We're running a 1 of Deadweight, 2 Duress's main board, 3 Shamble Backs. The reason why we're putting Shamble Back is it's just another way to enable Erebos' Titan. 2 Sinister's Concoction. This is quite good because you can mill, you can discard your Erebus Titan and get it back. And you have to discard it. So discarding that and then the self mill and then you sac sacrifice Sinister Concoction. So it puts an enchantment in your graveyard and you can destroy a creature. Very good removal spell. I actually like this card a lot. It's two mana remove a spell. There is some drawbacks to it. One life, discard a card, but that's about it. Who cares about the top card of your library? Uh, one of called call the Bloodline. Again, this can get rid of excess stuff you don't need to transgress the minds very good card in the format right now two ultimate prices three grass of darknesses three rear the bones to have card draw two ruinous pass uh two Kal kalatos trader of gets do you know what i might actually go down in these and then actually put in the the uh the tutor the what not demonic pack why am i trying to say demonic pack the uh, i just talked about the demonic tutor in standard that gets you three black uh, as that actually works pretty well with Complete Disregard, I think we do want a Complete Disregard or two in the deck. There it, there are cards that want to be exiled. Complete Disregard actually does hit opposing Kalatosses. So, yeah. Uh, three Languishes. We have one more in the sideboard. Four Airboses Titan, four underneath the floorboards, and uh, just one Obnixilis. Onto the sideboard, we're having two more Duresses, one, shamble, one more Shambleback, uh, one Pick the Brain. This is one that I really want to... It, it can actually get rid of a creature out of the graveyard, so enables the Erebos' Titan. And if you have Delirium, it just eats up everything out of their graveyard hand and library of that name. So it is still a non-land, so you can't you can't name a non-basic land. I wish they'd add that to the these type of cards. But yeah, so there's certain decks that, that you get a collected company out of their hand, then you can get every collected company out of their hand. Again, I think the green with the Evolving Wild strategy to get Delirium online is a lot better route to go with this. But we'll, we'll, we'll test this. This is an untested deck. Again, we just came up with the brew moments ago. And so I'm sure that with some fine-tuning, this gets better. We'll see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, three Infinite Obliterations in the sideboard. Two more Transgress the Mines. Infinite Obliteration also works with the Erebus' Titan. Uh, one Elusive Tormentor. I just thought that this looks like a good little uh, control against the not languish but basically against all the other removal spells in black you can completely protect this guy and so i thought i'd try one of uh well, then we have one more obnixilis and another i need to get rid of this elusive tormentor i don't think we want two of them we'll put dark petition that's the card in the the main board and probably move something over and that that'll help me find a we can we can have more of a toolbox type route with the dark petition so we'll just, we'll just run a one of. Uh, this is my card I want to test out, Remorseless Punishment. This just seems really good against another mid-range or control-based deck. They lose five life unless they that player discards two cards or sacks a creature or planeswalker. Rep repeat this process once. It's just a one of because you don't want to see more than a one of. And I think that this just has huge value. Huge, huge value. We'll, we'll have to test it and see if it's good or not. A one of two, the slaughter, another languish in the sideboard. So let me make the, the dark petition. 
let's go ahead and, and put at least a one of or a two of. I'm going to say a two of. That way we can throw a complete disregard in the sideboard. That gives us some outs. I also thought about the flailing tendrils in the sideboard. I think that we could probably run less infinite obliterations if that's the case, or maybe just completely cut this shamble back. And I still need to, we'll put a grass of darkness over to the sideboard. And a, again, I don't know if dead weight, if we need more dead weights or not. I think it's kind of having the same role as the sinister concoction. I'm going to probably put a Kalatas over to the sideboard. And that allows us two dark petitions. One Kal Kalatas is good versus certain decks, but it's just dead. And it, it's really about the mind rack demon. Or learn to spell. Mind rack demon is the only other card because it dodges languish. And the delirium is okay. I don't know. I think I want two mind rack demons main boarded rather than the Kalatases. Now we really need to figure out maybe just a two of read the bones is correct with these dark petitions. And I still want the remorseless punishment. Still want the elusive tormentor. Still want the languish to the slaughter. Duress pick the brain as a one of. I still want the transgresses. So I have to figure out. We have two duresses in the main board. Transgress. We want all of the transgress. Maybe infidel blaration is a little bit too high. If this card is so good versus a number of decks right now. This gets rid of certain, um, yeah, against certain decks when they, they're like the World Breaker deck or even the Mono Black deck. This is huge against. So let's see. Possibly Duress? I think we want to keep as many Duresses as possible, though. I'm going to get actually just get rid of an Obnixilus. Obnixil the Dark Petitions help find more of them. And any meeny, miny, mo. What is the last card that we can get rid of now. I guess I could get rid of a ruinous path. It's it's kind of redundant. But I think we'll just get rid of a transgress or, or an infinite obliteration. Probably the infinite obliteration since the dark petition can pick it up as well. I just like infinite obliteration off a of transgress or a duress. And so it's hard for me to get rid of any of these other cards. I think Grasp still wants to be main boarded. And possibly just ultimate price want to be more sideboarded. Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, we have grass, 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 ultimate price, uh, dead weight, sinister concoctions. I think that's enough. So possibly just even an ultimate price can get can get removed here. Oh geez, sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely making a decision, trying to make the best decision possible. I guess Kalatas could easily be removed. I I think Kalatas definitely wants to come in versus certain decks. To the slaughter is that a card we absolutely need? Instant speed. They have to sacrifice creature. I I want to try I try at least a one of. I think we're just gonna get rid of a duress. And then call this good. Yeah. So I'm gonna try the minor act demon. It gives us a little more. Like another four drop that survives languish that our opponent has to deal with. And if we don't like it, we can cut it. And I, I think it should be pretty easy to get four different card types in the graveyard, especially with Mind Rack Demon. The Self Mill actually helps with Erebos's Titan. We don't have a lot of creatures to put in the graveyard, so land, instant sorcery, and uh, there is a Planeswalker enchantment. Enchantment should be in the graveyard too. So possibly we do need to... Now, I think well, we should have those four at least in the graveyard, so the Mind Rack Demon shouldn't be an issue. Anyway... We'll try this deck out. I'm not going to... If you guys want to see this on M2 Joe, I probably will need the Kalatases and the Minorak Demons. We are really, really spread thin for tickets. I'm working on a bazillion different deck builds right now. And it's just not feasible right now to be playing so many different decks on M2 Joe. So I'll let you know how this goes. I have the cards in paper for sure. I'll let you know how this goes in my Friday Night Magic. I might play this for game day as well. Hope you enjoyed this. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.